everyone thank you for tuning into today's video um, welcome back to the channel today I have a Huda Beauty haul I recently placed an order on her website and these are the products that I ended up picking up first I picked up one of her kits called the get wild kit uh, it has one of the eyeshadow palettes the new ones um, came in a bag like this it says complete your fierce AF look with a super cute vibrant pink belt bag in python print packed with a wild obsessions palette of your choice and one life liner quick and easy precision liquid liner the reason of and this is a really nice um fanny pack that they've included i am liking it it says with a beauty on it it has a python print it's a nice big belt fits me um and it opens up everything was inside this Here's what it says on here. Get Wild Kit, a set of one Tiger Wild Obsessions eyeshadow palette, one life liner, quick and easy, easy precision liquid liner. So I thought this was a nice one to have. Um, the eyeshadow palette I picked was the Tiger one, which is exclusive to her website. I didn't see it on Sephora or any other website. And um, here's the outer packaging for it. Uh, with all the ingredients listed and where it's made and all that information that you're looking for. It says to peel here to get um, more of the ingredient lists, which I'm keeping this box. I just, I kept this box just to show you guys. I'll be discarding this box very soon after I show it to you. This is a made in China palette, by the way. Her bigger palettes are usually made in Italy. The small ones are made in China. Anyway, and then the next item is the Life Liner, which I am very excited about. It's called the Life Liner Quick and Easy Precision Liquid Liner. It says it is waterproof, smudge proof, rub proof, swear proof, swear proof? I think sweater proof, sweat proof, uh, ophthalmologist tested and matte. It says swear proof for some weird reason on their website. And then I got one of these matte basic black and white melted shadows, which I haven't actually opened yet. It has a black on one end and a white enhancer on the other side. So I'm quite excited. Let's open this up. All right. All right. So here it is. This is what it looks like, black and white. I thought it would work really nicely to do some um, base um, for like colorful eyeshadows. Anyway, so here's the palette I got, the Tiger one. It has a nice look to it where you move it and it kind of keeps changing on you. I don't know if that's showing up very well on the camera or not. And it says that it's a bougie champagne gold palette with taupe neutrals and a sexy slice of terracotta pink. <laughs> I like how it's described. It's really cute. I've already used this palette once and I did enjoy it. I will pop up a photo here of it. That's why it looks a little bit used there. I will insert some footage of it when it was brand new and I wasn't touched at all. Um, I'm going to start with the matte ones first. So the matte eyeshadows, two, three, four, and then there's one more dark brown, but let me get these on here. Oh, whoops. Here we go. So these are the first four matte shadows. Let me grab a tissue. And here we go, clean fingers again. And then the last dark brown matte shadow. I think this this palette is also good um, for fall makeup if you were looking for. So these are the five mattes included out of the nine. And then there is three shimmer shadows. Very nice. Texture is very nice. Ah, very nice. Two golds and a dark brown shimmer shade. And then, I think this is the one that she's referring to as a slice of terracotta pink, the center eyeshadow, which is, it shifts like pink and, it goes between pink and gold, this one. It's like a topper shade. Very pretty. I'm going to put it right here on top, like that. 
horizontal and as you can see it shifts between gold and pink I love it it's very pretty I love the shimmery shades I love the topper shade the mattes I don't find the mattes to be extremely unique but then this is a very cohesive palette you could create an entire look with this palette so you know I think it works out really well I'm gonna wipe my fingers and then we'll move on to the eyeliner so for the life liner quick and easy well here's another look at the palette sorry this is a voiceover so um, might be a little bit out of sync for you guys just wanted to give you guys a nice look at this palette before I put it away all right let's move on to the life liner quick and easy precision liquid liner is what it's called it is an easy to apply one-sided liquid liner with a super thin 0.03 millimeter brush tip that deposits a continuous amount of product for a precise one swipe application i kid you not this has become my holy grail eyeliner the one before this that i really loved i mean look at that brush tip the one that i had before this that i loved was the tom ford one that costs sixty dollars um this costs nineteen dollars my other favorite is the kat von d one in trooper the difference is this one is matte which i love this one is matte makes a big difference and just watch it is continuous it is precise and it's one swipe application it is amazing i love this eyeliner i had stopped wearing eyeliner for a little bit because I wasn't enjoying putting eyeliner on, but once I got this in my hands, now I'm back to applying my cat eye liquid eyeliner. I love this and I highly recommend it. If you like matte black eyeliner that, that is easy for beginners and pros, you would love this eyeliner. And it is very long lasting. I put this on in the morning and it was still there at night. Um, I, I This is my new holy grail of eyeliners I highly highly recommend it I think you guys would love it it is waterproof it is smudge proof it is rub proof sweat proof and ophthalmologist tested and it's very Vanta extreme black inspired by the deepest and darkest black known so there is that I'm gonna move on to the matte basics melted shadows this is a new release there's a few different shades in this but i thought this would be very nice it's a uh, basic black and white and it's a very opaque black and white and you'll see when i swatch it here that's a very opaque black which you could use as an eyeshadow base or you could also use it as an eyeliner or you could just use it as eyeshadow uh, as a black eyeshadow liquid eyeshadow all over your lid if you wanted to and then this is the white one which i feel is like a must-have if you like colorful looks and you have darker skin on your eyelids white base with this is perfect you could use it as eyeshadow as a white eyeliner and you could use it as a base for your colorful fun shadows it's very opaque i'm loving it last but not least the final item that i purchased in this haul is the kayali invite only amber 23 i got this in the small size the 10 ml which by the way costs 27 dollars. so it's not really cheap i wish i'd picked this up from sephora so i could have returned it because i'm not loving this i'm sorry it has black cherry honey de provence tobacco leaf amber resin vanilla madagascar i thought i would love this from the notes but i guess i was wrong i mean it's there's nothing wrong with the quality of this perfume it's just that it it's not to my liking and i'm very picky about my perfume i made a big mistake i should have really smelled it before i purchased it however these are all this is all available on her website and i see that she also has like a roller now with a different fragrance on the other side if you want you could mix those two this is the only other uh, perfume i have from kayali which is the kayali elixir this thing is like my childhood in a bottle you could say it's a very deep fragrance it's not very fruity or floral the way it's described it is floral but it's more like 
it's not as crisp as they describe it. And compared to that, I thought this was going to be a deep fragrance, something to my liking, but unfortunately, no. I love the bottle. It's very pretty. And I have a feeling I can give this to somebody else who might love this um, because it's a very lovely bottle. The fragrance is nice. It's just not for me. It lasts on me. Um, but it's just not for me, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure somebody else would love this in my family. If you've tried this, I would love to know what you thought and um, if you enjoy it, if you like the quality of the fragrance, as in if it lasts long enough on you or not. I would be curious to know. Please do let me know. I would also like to know um, if you are planning on purchasing any of the items um, that you see here in the video that I've mentioned. I, I recommend the kit that I got with any palette because it's $10 less than what you would pe be paying if you bought the palette and the liner separately. It's $10 lesser than that. So that was a win in my opinion. I love the eyeliner and I love the palette. I'm curious if you're picking up any, which one. I've already ordered the Jaguar one, and I think that's the one I'm going to be getting. In any case, until next time, this is Amira signing off. Bye now.